Welcome Ark Survivors, Raging Archer here with another video for Ark Infinity Clustered Servers. Today I'm doing a mod showcase showing off all the mods that we use on our server. And I'm doing it a little bit drunk today, so this will be fun. Woo! Alright, so let's get into it. Mod up is Structures Plus. A very popular mod building mod that allows me to pick up structures that I've placed already. And also, I can stack my foundations, and, and it comes with um, some extra triangle building pieces and triangle foundations. It also comes with its own blueprint maker, so I could turn structures into blueprints and its own converter. So if I had a regular thatch foundation, I could put in this converter and convert it to an S plus foundation, which then would be stackable. Also comes with uh, various utilities that allows me to transfer things between certain inventories uh, that I specify. It also lets me do things like kill tame dinos, uh, lets me demolish or pick up structures from far away, makes it easier to build. Also, uh, even this one where I can set turrets and copy the settings. So a lot of different tools that you can play around with for this mod. Also comes with an auto crafter. And with this auto crafter, I'm going to place another any crafting station, even if it's modded, into its inventory, and then um, I can reclaim the crafting station. I put a S plus mortar and pestle into it. I'm going to set this as my crafting station, and then I can go in and select my recipe. So anything this thing can make, if I want a lesser antidote to be the recipe, then that's what it's going to make, as long as I put the crafting materials inside. Did I also mention that I was drunk? Woo! Anyway, uh, it comes with a couple mannequins. You could change their appearance and uh, dress them up any way you want. Which will give them some hair color here. And... Hey, making 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 big. It's got a big head right now. I'm gonna make him really buff and big. It's gonna be my buff mannequin. It's gonna be huge. This guy is massive. The things you do when you're drunk. Just don't make sense to any other drunk. Here we go. Alright, we'll apply it to him. This is a big mannequin, huh? I think I fucked up. Hey, what's up, Wolverine? Anyway, moving on with Structures Plus. Um, a nice little feature also is with the um, transmitter, you can do a dino scan. And I can see how much. Uh, what dinos are on the server right now and where their location is. Let's find a good dino. Uh, Titanosaur, if you're seeking one, then I can go flat this flat and long and get it. Moving on. Comes with a hitching post. I can hitch my dinos to this for breeding purposes or so they don't wander away. Also, Use this nanny to imprint any baby dinos. It'll also act as a feeding trough for only baby dinosaurs. Now once they get to juvenile, they'll eat from a regular feeding trough. Even have this beehive that will water my crops for me without any need of crowding any irrigation. Comes with a hatchery so I can collect any eggs that drop nearby, any fertilized eggs, and they'll hatch two times faster in this hatchery. Various other iffy little gadgets like this. Uh, what's this guy? He is a farmer and he's going to collect fertilizer from my dung beetles and then place it into my crop plot. So you could do a lot of, a lot of mass farming with this. Um, my sheep herder will shear any nearby sheep for me and collect the wool. And my gardener, she'll collect items from the crop plots. Well, who gave her beer? She's getting drunk too. Gardener wants to party with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, <shit. laughs> you pull out whenever you need to. 
you got cannonballs flying at you and everything. <laughs> so our next mod on the list is Rare Flowers and Mushroom Seeds. This mod is a, is a small mod that allows me to plant and craft rare flower seeds to any crop plot. And of course the effect will be that I can grow rare flowers and mushrooms. Which is pretty handy considering our next mod is going to be stimulant. Now with rare flowers and mushrooms I can craft these stimulants and these stimulants when I feed them to a knocked out dino or tame um, it'll make them hungry or faster so I can I can tame things at a faster speed. Also can be used in our health in our art pots balance potions mod which will allow me to create potions for stamina or energy and HP so we can heal our dinos or ourselves pretty quickly or regain our stamina and also used with our XP potions so growing your own rare flowers and mushrooms comes in handy um, this XP potion can be used on yourself or your dinos convenience mod that we have is a death recovery mod if I die out in the wild I can recover my corpse by just clicking E on this gravestone any lost items from any of your bodies out there will be sent back to your inventory unless another player has already looted my body or whatever killed me has looted my body right, next up is our human NPCs mod uh, I really like this mod it allows me to go out and tame human NPCs now they're really cool to tame you can't just knock them out and then you know put some meat in them and tame them you actually got to walk up and emote towards them like uh, lower your hands as friendly wave at them and then start passively taming them each of them have a different job that sounds like someone's over here each of these human NPCs have a different job if you place them on wonder For example, you can place them on wonder, they'll farm materials for you, um, they'll knock out dinos for you, and if you set up a collection box, they'll place all the materials they gather into that collection box. This is a pretty cool mod, and I haven't played with it too much, but it, it has a lot of promise. Oh, oh god, I'm hungry. All right, he's, he's... They make really good uh, base defense. Uh, your archers can shoot a variety of arrows, and they'll mix it up as to what they fire. Sometimes they'll fire the flaming arrows, and sometimes they'll fire something else. But they, if you give them good armor, you can even give them tech armor um, from another mod that we use. They make really good base defense. Place them in your house on aggressive and anybody bust in somebody's here there he is like an angel like a glorious angel throw me some shit he wants me to cut my hair Look ugly. That's Gabe, our resident angel. Let you fly away now. Take off and fly. Free, my friend. Be free. There he goes. <laughs> our next mod up. Next mod up is Redwoods Anywhere. With this mod, I can grow trees, let them grow nice, big, and strong, so I can put some platforms on them. This mod is pretty neat. Once um, you access the inventory, if you're not sure which tree you want to grow, you can click the tree and hit Preview. As long as you don't have another structure in the way, you can view the tree. Build this tree, you craft the seed, you put in the mulch, and it'll start to grow. 
Once it's fully grown, it's indestructible. Only the user can tear it down again. So I'm going to hide my preview and look at a fully grown tree. I'm going to call my elevator down. The next mod that we'll talk about is going to be our Platforms Plus mod. This mod, you can create some larger platforms to snap onto your trees. Some of these uh, trees, though, from the Redwoods, have up to four snap points. Also, the platforms are way larger than the platforms that come with the default game, so you can build more structures, and it has snap points built into them. So you can easier you can have an easier build on top of these. All right, let me fly back up. We'll talk about this jet back in a minute. You can also create cliff platforms and tree platforms. And here's the crafting table for platforms plus platform smithy. As you can see, you can make glass, metal, stone, tech, and wood. And yes, there is a tech platform. And yes, the tech platforms have their own tech shields, which is pretty cool. Alright, so the next mod up is Arcless. Which is a combination of Atlas and Arc. Bringing all the Atlas creatures to Arc. It's a pretty new mod, but I like it so far. So far, the creatures they have in this mod is the Leatherwing, the Razor Tooth. The shield horn, which is like a trike, and the drake. And so Arklis also has an anglerfish. I'm trying to find some of the other. There we go. Anglerfish, hammerhead shark, and of course, I don't know why it's all the way down here, but this giant squid. Next mod up is Kraken's Better Dinos. One of my more favorite mods because they do a lot of improvements to a lot of dinosaurs and I can't showcase every single improvement they do here, but I will feature the highlights. For example, the Triceratops is now twice the size of it that it used to be. Uh, it can now have platform saddles and they actually incorporated snappy saddles into its coating so I can do platform extensions and have a further range with my saddles. Trike also has some new abilities where it's going when it charges, the more more uh, run speed it gets towards a uh, bigger dino, the more damage it's going to do on an impact. Now the tech trike has also been added, reindeer and Stiggy, aberrant and regular version, and also Styracosaurus. Same thing with the aberrant and regular version. A Styracosaurus basically takes over what the old trike used to do. You also have the Mammoth, capable of also wearing a platform saddle. Uh, Diplodocus can actually knock you off your mount and actually do some attacking damage. And the Brontosaurus can do some also damage to stone and special extra attacks where it can raise up on itself and damage structures. So far it can only damage stone. Better Dinos also adds in the Lyop, the Lyopleurodon, which is buried its head in a rock right now. Let's see if I can get him to come over. And there we go. So this Lyop won't disappear. And also the Tech Mosa has a chance to spawn as well. So those of you that like Tech creatures, you can now get the Tech Mosa. Next mod up is AF Weapon Systems. This mod adds in three new turrets. We call the Rat, the Hat, and the Tat. Now these, it also comes with its own uh, weapon system interface. So I can turn it on for it to load up. Get close so I can see what it's doing. Now this is really cool because it'll let me see even turrets that aren't part of the mod. For example this Tech Turret Plus. 
It'll tell me how much ammo it has, the range it has, and what its target is set to, how many other turrets are online, how many are offline, and everything else. So I can spin this wheel and I can cycle turrets. So now I can change to a different turret. We'll move on to our hat. How about that? So also, let's see, I can access the inventory. I can place, I can, this is where I'll craft my turrets, my power cells for power, and any depleted power cells you can recharge. They're like batteries. And also I have ammo that I can dish out to, let me see, I got the rat ammo. All right, so we'll, we'll dish out some ammo to the rat. So that means I need to cycle turrets till I get to the rat. There it is. And now I'll give it some more ammo. But before I do, let's look at how much ammo it has. It has 40. And we'll give it more ammo. Now I have 140 ammo. Also, I can change what this turret will target. So let's see. Cycle turrets range. And now I can change it from low to mid-range to high. And this will do it for all the turrets of this type within its range. <laughs> you can fly around. <laughs> Next up is Nadge's Speedy Flyers. I like this one better than Classic Flyers because they actually add functionality to things that Classic Flyers doesn't support, like all the Extinction Flyers, corrupted, adds Corrupted Flyers, which you can actually breed, and it also will add Tech Quetzal, which I know Classic Flyers adds, but they did it kind of late. Um, and then the Ice Wyvern, so we can actually get support for those now. Remember, these these can be bred and tamed in the wild. And because of better dinos, your phoenix will also lay black pearls. So you uh, use the phoenix as a black pearl farm if you like. You can breed these. You can also breed a phoenix. 